Welcome to Foglight Video Solutions. This video will cover how to migrate SQL Server and Oracle Database Agents to a SQL Server PI repository. My name is John Sakalaskis. I'm a Technical Product Specialist for the Foglight team. This demo will cover how to migrate SQL Server and Oracle Database Agents to a SQL Server PI repository. The prerequisites and requirements include an available SQL Server PI database, as described in Knowledge Base Article 289910, the SQL Server and Oracle cartridges should already be upgraded to version 5.9.5.20 and higher. And please review the Foglight for Databases Deployment Guide and Foglight for SQL Server and Oracle User Guides for additional requirements. The 5.9.5.20 SQL Server and Oracle Cartridge and Upgrade Wizard will automatically disable the InfoBright PI for existing SQL Server and Oracle database agents. This includes the automatic Disabling of the InfoBright PI extension for SQL Server agents, disabling of the InfoBright PI extension for Oracle agents, pausing of the PI engine for SSAS agents, and disabling the InfoBright PI for SQL PI agents. To begin, log into the Foglight console. Switch to the expert view in the navigation and then navigate to Administration, Agents, Agent Status. Type the letters SPI in the search box and then select and delete the PI repository manager agent that begins with SPI repository as well as the PI domain manager agent that begins with dbss-spi repository and dbo-spi repository. Next, search for the letters SSAS in the search box and then select and delete the PI domain manager agent that begins with SSAS-spi repository. Now return to the database's dashboard. Our next steps will be to add the PI extension to SQL Server and Oracle database agents. At the end of the demonstration, links will be provided for information on how to recreate SSAS agents using the SQL Server PI repository, how to migrate SQL Server, Oracle, and SSAS PI agent data from InfoBright to the new SQL Server PI repository, and how to shut down and remove the decommissioned InfoBright PI repository from a server. We will begin with SQL Server agents. Checkbox the agent or agents to add the SQL PI extension to. Navigate to Settings, then Administration. Find the SQL Performance Investigator and select it to enter the SQL PI admin screen. The SQL Performance Investigator administration screen allows for enabling and disabling the SQL PI extension for the SQL Server agents. There are some requirements to adhere to that are listed in the sizing guide. Click No SQL PI Repository Attached. A pop-up will display the key features of the SQL Performance Investigator extension and it will highlight the important system requirements. Select the Agent Manager and then click the Apply button. If prompted, we will now specify the server name, authentication type, username, and password. If the default instance is used, then it does not have to be included with the server name. Adding the port number is optional. Then click Next. Another pop-up to enter the SQL PI repository settings may appear. A new PI repository database can be created in this step. The database name is pre-filled with a unique name. Adding a primary file group location and the transaction log location is optional, or it will be taken from the SQL Server instance settings. The user must, however, fill in a specific Windows folder location on the server where the SQL PI instance is located to hold one minute data. This may be on a separate drive from the other SQL Server files. Alternatively, a radio button is available to use an existing PI repository database for SQL Server with a pull-down menu to select a database. After this panel has been filled in, click Finish to continue. An additional pop-up may appear to confirm that a new PI repository for SQL Server should be created. To enable SQL PI, checkbox the agent and click Enable. This process has been sped up for video purposes. In preparation for the migration of SQL Server data from InfoBright to the SQL Server PI repository, we will now disable the PI extension from the SQL Server agent. This step is optional if the SQL Server data from InfoBright does not need to be migrated. 
Our next step is return to the databases dashboard and repeat the same steps once again to add the PI extension to the Oracle database agent. These steps will be sped up for video production purposes. In this iteration, we will enable the PI extension for the Oracle agent. Once again, in preparation for the migration of Oracle historical data from InfoBright to the SQL Server PI repository, we will now disable the PI extension for the Oracle agent. This step is optional if the Oracle data from InfoBright will not be migrated. This next slide details a list of other KB articles that may be useful in your migration to the new SQL Server PI repository. To learn more about Fog Life for Databases, visit us at support.quest.com. For quick support questions, follow us at Quest Experts on Twitter.